हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग रिगार्डिंग चार्ट्स एटलासेस एंड स्मूथ मैनीफोल्ड्स स्मूथ मैनीफोल्ड्स कम्स टू बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन केस ऑफ जनरल रिलेटिविटी एंड सो डज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ चार्ट बेसिकली द फैक्ट इफ यू रिमेंबर देर आर वीडियोज ऑन इन माई चैनल ऑन स्वर्ड शील्ड ब्लैक होल्स एंड ऑल दोज यू हैव टी एक्स वाई जेड एंड ऑल दोज दीज आर द चार्ट्स they are charts they are the representation uh, that helps us understanding the manifolds in a better way so uh, so up till now what we have discussed regarding these manifolds definition is the fact that uh, given a set m you can equip with with the topology which is a choice from subsets uh, of the power set of m a particular choice given that choice you can then Uh, talk about continuity and then uh, to be a manifold means to have a uh, local homeomorphism so uh, given an open set given an open set where a set by definition is said to be open if it belongs to the topology of that m uh, the set in question and given a point in this manifold uh, given a point in this topological space m if i can find a small open set such that that set has a homeomorphism to a subset of rd then that is called a uh, if every for every point i have such a homeomorphism i call that m and theta m together the topological space forms a topological manifold so given a topological manifold obviously i have collection of open sets and the maps that map them to the underlying that actually causes homeomorphism so these maps x are called the chart maps they are bijective and continuous in both side that is they are invertible and the inverse is also continuous that means the push push forward and pull back of open sets are open uh, this is a nice terminology to remember these maps they are called homeomorphisms they preserve the openness so the chart what is a chart a chart is a pair of this of a open set of of a manifold and a transition function so this is the what comprises of chart now given charts you can collect all the possible charts such that you completely characterize your manifold so then that entire thing is called an atlas it's similar to the atlas that we study because the chart of the globe involves all possible ways such that you can cover the entire globe but now given an atlas there is a problem because the chart of one country may be present in the chart of a different country because uh, of their close uh, territorial relationship so similarly there can be overlaps between charts suppose you have two charts one is so u and v both are a part of a open set they both belongs to the topology of m a, man, a manifold now you have one chart you have another chart but this if you have such a condition if they are non empty if they are em, if they are empty then there is no problem if they are non empty the chart transition functions which are these functions here the chart transition functions must be c0 compatible Wh which what it means is that the functions each of these functions must be continuous so that's what we need so this is a important need for formation of atlases if you have uh, if you have chart maps which are uh, which are uh, compatible the chart maps needs to be compatible for atlas formation now given a chart maps all the chart maps all possible transition functions are compatible you can ask that whether they are k times differentiable or not here how you can characterize the differentiability of this guy is by asking the differentiability of these and these maps so the point is if all possible transition functions where this and these are called the transition functions are k times differentiable because you are in a euclidean space the rd space you can talk about differentiability in a very nice way if they are k times differentiable 
that means k plus 1 times continuous then the atlas is called ck compatible and denoted by this form so this k here means that the chart functions or the chart transition maps are compatible up to ck times so a smooth map is such a a smooth manifold is such a manifold such that all of its transition functions are infinitely compatible they are infinitely uh, differentiable so now given uh, so this is the entire characterization of atlas and what it means to be a smooth manifold so i hope this is clear charts charts and atlases are very important particularly understanding the fact that this u and this v they are open sets corresponding to the topology theta m and then they are using the transition functions i am bringing them down to a underlying dimension of that manifold so if this would have been r n then the manifold would have been of dimension n so given that i can talk about diffeomorphic manifolds so what does that mean so given two manifolds you can see m theta m n theta n and their charts which are ck compatible that means the transition functions can be differentiated k prime times i can talk about the i can make a map from m to n if there exist a map from m to n that is also that is k times differentiable then the manifolds are said to be ck diffeomorphic so let's look quickly check this so given an open set in m i can map it to an open set why can i do that because this map needs to be k times differentiable it at least needs to be continuous and continuous map maps to open sets so that's that and then i can talk about differentiability of that map using these transition functions and here what i have done is i have just shown that these transition functions are really compatible with each other because i could have i can use this chart here so these charts are very uh, uh, difficult to uh, properly cope up with because of the fact that you can choose one chart and you can also choose another chart such that they give they map to different domains of rd but then you must construct proper chart transition functions uh, to show that they are properly differentiable this is uh, with the most uh, cases this happens uh, but uh, for the purpose uh, for physical purposes it is important to keep really keep in mind what charts are which are just a pair of uh, a uh, open set and the corresponding map that makes it to a local homeomorphism to rd